I just woke up and doing my skincare. We like just went home last night after dinner, watched Euphoria and passed out. So we woke up and we actually haven't like walked downtown yet because we drove to dinner last night. So we're gonna go like walk downtown, explore, probably find like a cute coffee shop, get some breakfast. So I'm just gonna do my makeup and get ready for the day. It's Monday and it feels so weird to not be at work. Like so nice. Still using my Good Molecules products. My skin feels so good actually. And I'm gonna do my makeup and get ready and I'm not gonna film it since you saw my makeup routine last night and I'm literally just doing the same thing. So I'll see you when I'm ready. All right, just kidding. I didn't get fully ready. I just put on like a sweatshirt and kept my sweatpants on because we're gonna do a quick coffee run with Otto and then bring him back and then we'll like full blown explore and that's what I'm gonna do. My makeup and I have this pimple which is so annoying. I love this sweatshirt, it's a Chargers sweatshirt and I thrifted it a long time ago but I just think it's so cute. I love the varsity detailing on it. Come on, come on. Come on buddy. Dad's in there getting our coffees. Yum, jalapeno cheddar, bagel with scallion cream cheese. All right. I'm ready to go exploring. We're leaving Auto. Comfy, cute vibes. It's actually pretty warm today, so I'm not gonna wear a jacket. I'm out of breath, guys. <laughs> the stairs, there's like so many stairs in this place, just constantly running up and down stairs. But yeah, I haven't worn jeans in a while, to be honest, so I wanted to wear some jeans, and I thought these were cute and baggy. got some cute stuff. I can't wait to show you guys when we get back. How do you feel? I'm excited. <laughs> we got Otto a toy from the black dog. He loves it. And I'm gonna give you guys a haul right now from the Drift Collective, like that really cool upcycled vintage store that I found downtown in Portsmouth. So if you are near New Hampshire, you gotta check it out. They have the coolest items. Like I literally just followed them on Instagram. They're so cool. You guys know I'm really into sustainable fashion and thrifting and all of that and honestly i feel like their pieces were really like well priced they weren't too expensive so i'm gonna do a little try on okay the first thing i got was this <laughs> laguna candle they had all these like cool girl candles but i wanted to get this one they're just like a typical like coconut soy wax candle with a wood wick um but this flavor or this scent stood out to me because it's like ocean summer beach house parties like I love just clean scents like that so I got this candle also got these like CBD joints called dad grass but they came with just some matches and I don't know they're just cool like definitely gonna use these on our little trip right now and then also they gave us some free stickers which I'm gonna put on my laptop for clothes we got this drift collective velvety suede trucker hat and ryan picked it out but i'm gonna wear it too because we share clothes so let me show you what it looks like i have to tighten it i 
this classic little suede trucker hat. I love it. I think it's so cute. And then here is the sweatshirt I picked out. Actually, Ryan picked it out. I can't even take credit. Ryan picked it out, but we're going to share it. And it just has the two-tone auto go away. It just has the two-tone arms, which is so cool and very simple. It says the Drift Collective. So I'll try this on for you. So oversized. It's like an XL. I love it. Only $59. I feel like that's not that bad for like an upcycled store. It was really cool because the downstairs was like where they craft all of their clothing so you could like see them working on it. Next item is a flannel. They had like so many cool flannels, different colors, different patterns. Um, again, it just says like drift and Ryan picked this one out. I love it. I think it's so cool. It was $55, again, not too pricey. And we got it in a size large. I don't feel like styling this right now, but I would wear it like open as kind of like a jacket with probably like a little crop top. It looks so bad right now like this, but it's so cute. I just like love oversized clothing. If it's not baggy, I don't want it. So this is just so cozy. I would even wear this like to bed. Last item I got. Um... I'm amazed. Okay, let me show you in the... This is what I picked out, and like this is what I'm going to be wearing, but it's this oversized fuzzy camel print fleece. So I'm so into zip-up fleeces. It's like a quarter zip fleece, which are so in this winter. And also just camo is so in again. Like I've been waiting to get something in a camo print. And I saw this and I was like, no, I absolutely need this. So... Another thing that really attracts me to it is like this is their logo. They have a lot of like signature logos. This one is like the hammerhead shark and it just says hammer. It was only $62 like for a fleece zip up jacket. I feel like that's so good and it's so cozy. Has the little pockets. So if you live in New Hampshire, you seriously like need to check them out if you're ever in Portsmouth. I just followed them on Instagram. I'll have it linked down below, but I love finding cool sustainable stores like this like it's like so fun to me and like one of my hobbies it smells so good it smells like seafood. <laughs> oh my god I can't remember the last time I've been to a beach I'm so excited it's gorgeous it's gorgeous Fun facts. <laughs> Nightcap or no? No. Good morning. I forget where I left off the vlog last night, but me and Ryan went to dinner downtown and then came home and like just had a chill night. There's like a Degrassi channel on this TV. So we were watching Degrassi all night and then went to bed early because we got up early today to go snowboarding. It's like nine o'clock, we're about to leave. I just got ready. I put on some minimal makeup and I put my hair up and I'm kind of ready. I'm like ready in my under layers. I still have to like layer up when I get there, but it's about an hour drive. We're going to Gunstock for the mountain. And I'm so excited. I'm kind of nervous because I haven't been yet this season. I cannot believe it's like end of February and I have not been snowboarding. That's like unheard for me. Like normally I'm going in December. So I'm nervous because normally I need like my feet under me before I go to a big mountain. And this is like a big mountain. So prayers. I'm not going to bring my camera because I just don't even want to deal with it. I'm going to try to take like videos on my phone and vlog on my phone because I also want to make some like TikToks. So not gonna bring my camera, leaving it here. Yeah, I'll see you guys when I get to the mountain.
back from snowboarding. Um, we got back like showered, packed up. It's pouring rain out right now. And we're gonna go eat one last restaurant in downtown Portsmouth and then pack up and leave. We have the Airbnb for another night, but we don't really feel like an hour from home. Yeah, we're only an hour from home. We don't really feel like staying here another night for no reason. If we just have to leave in the morning anyway, it's kind of just like a waste of time. And the bed's not that comfortable, so we'd rather just sleep in our own bed and like not waste the day tomorrow like traveling. <laughs> 